Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's jump right into it. In this video you will see in which direction the price of Bitcoin has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators EMA, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the Bitcoin hourly time frame, the price moved only slightly to the upside with around 0.1% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 30,286. Jumping to the exponential moving average, or short EMA, it is calculated in a similar way as how the simple moving average is being calculated, but places more importance on the most recent data points. A faster trend change could be signaled as the EMA moves quicker in the current direction of the price. In order to show the trend more accurately, the ribbon we are showing is made up of eight different EMAs. When we now look at the current hourly exponential moving averages, we can see that the price is situated in the hourly ribbon, so it is yet to be seen if the price can break the resistance currently at around 30,333. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. On the lookout for divergences in the hourly time frame, the price has already gone up owing to the last bullish divergence. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but because the percent K line is over the percent D line, we can deduce that the trend is currently on the up. Jumping to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Looking at the three hourly exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is situated below the three hourly ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 30,461. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. Usually, when the price moves to the side, the ribbon is less reliable. Jumping to the three hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions. But because the percent K line is over the percent D line, we can deduce that the trend is currently on the up. Moving to the three hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive, so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected, and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bearish. Moving to the daily exponential moving averages, the current price is above the daily ribbon, which is generally bullish and the ribbon could play as a support, so it is to watch if the price could bounce off it. The current price to watch is around 28,618. The support should be considered because the ribbon is more or less spread out. Moving to the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region which means that the price is getting oversold and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. The K line is currently above the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the upside. Looking at the daily MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also, the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.